Hello everyone, this is Steve O. Sims here, playing on Farming Simulator 19. We are in Midwest Horizons, and we are a custom harvest crew. We got a section of barley to harvest, we got a contract, and we need to head out to the field. So let's get these trucks a-running. Got a quite a few, so I'll probably cut this out. So now we are running down the highway, making good time here. So we got a few miles to drive. If you don't know, this is a 4X map, so it takes a while to get across the map here. So we're going all the way over to close to the center, but also close to the northeast or west corner too. There's a pivot there that has some barley on it. Farmer wants us to harvest it, so we're headed there now. We will watch the other trucks as they go by. Here's our second combine. Hopefully he slows down here. Combine number two. Coming by. Very nice. Slow down a little bit. Nicely done. Not too shabby. Hopefully we can get the farmer to get us to combine this corn over here to the side of us too. Here's our third combine coming down. Making the turn. Did not stop at the stop sign. So hopefully there's no cops around here. And here comes our grain cart. A big... I believe that's a Kenworth. Has no problems pulling that. I might be wrong. I'm not positive on the brand of that semi. It's definitely a heavy-duty semi. Let's see as it come down. Oh, yep. Here's our 9RT. And here's our first 45-foot draper head coming down. You could see our second 45 foot draper head and also our our tool truck here parts truck pair truck whatever you want to call it and our last head is coming down So luckily the farmer here has a nice patch of grass here for us to unload the combine. Set up shop right here. 
we are going to move each one of these so they stay out of the way of the other ones. It's like a good spot right here. We'll get over here. Luckily, we almost lost a combine here. We'll have to be take this turn very easy. Combine number two had a close call. Definitely don't want to damage our combines. We have a lot of money invested in them. go. It's a very convenient field to harvest with a nice grass field to the side of it here. No crops in it. Get plenty of space to get our combine situated. Looks like Combine 3 wasn't as bad as 2, but slightly got cantered. Here's our heavy duty Kenworth coming up. Had no problem pulling that grain cart trailer. No problem at all. this turn slightly here looks like our headers have all made it jump into our last semi transportation semi here so if you don't know Custom harvest crews usually have to cra travel a lot of land. They travel all of America, some of them do, all the way up from Canada and on down. So, down into South America, even sometimes, to harvest the grain, to help the farmers get the grain harvested. Jump in big old power stroke here. Not sure how I want to position these headers because we're definitely going to need some room to maneuver the combines around to pick them up. I think the park the first one right here. I guess the second one right here, almost creating a wall with trailers and headers and vehicles here. We'll stop you. So we'll get you all parked nice and neat later. So let's get these combines started unload so oh that was the wrong one I think we need to unhook the trailer we'll pull up slightly here now we will unhook him
jump into our brand new 700 here. We'll grab this first header. We'll try to stay out of as much as the neighbor's cotton crop so he doesn't get mad at us. And we're a little bit close. Go. Unfold him. There we go. Now we have him ready. Oh, we'll drop the header down. So now we can grease him up, prepare for the day. Now we get to do that all over again. Park him there. Drive a semi up there, just like so. There we go. Man, you almost. Wow. I'm gonna have to talk to that hired hand about watching the, where the combine is placed on the trailer. Probably should have watched that. So we'll grab another one of these headers, place it right beside the other combine. Here we go. There. Got that. It's going to be a tight fit right here. Uh, oh, gonna have to drive slightly into the crop. So we'll get this combine unfold too. nicely there always want to make a good impression so got to keep everything nice and lined up and neat we get we appear that we're way more professional that way keep customers knowing we're serious business they can trust us in their harvesting Definitely don't want to run over their crops if they're going to trust us, that's for sure. There we go, we'll grab the last. Hopefully, the farmer wasn't planning on harvesting this grass crop because we definitely put the ruts in this. It's going to be a little bit bumpy riding that baler. That swather. Oh, oh, sorry, I just barely caught that. Probably should have moved him. This is another tight fit right here. There we go. And got to line it up a little bit better. There we go. Now 
we got to hook up the trailer here. We'll hook these up. Because then we got to unhook that. Oh. So now we have to hook up to our grain trailer. These semis are going to be running dual purpose here. Transporting grain back to the elevator and aiding and transporting harvesters. And I guess also the trailers. There we go. And like so. So I, I want to get the header trailers all lined up too. And I have to have room for the grain crop or the grain cart, sorry, to operate here because I want to be able to load the semis right here. Got this last one. There we go. And we'll grab our last grain trailer here. get him behind last semi there we go now all we have to do is deal with the grain cart so it look like the grain cart also had a rough time. Oh, wrong one. We will park this guy over here for a little bit. Because we need to get our 9RT off to help get the grain cart off. him over beside him too like so there we go there we go now we'll get the tractor over here him over here out of the way right there now we'll get this truck over here Go, park him right there.
And back that trailer right there. So now all we have to do is get these header trailers out of the way. Him right there. And also move him over here. Big power stroke of running here. There we go. Just have one left, and we're actually going to unhook the header trailer off this truck and use him to service the combines before we get into harvesting. Take him over. Sure, we top off the combines and they're ready to go. All right, now we're done with that, so we'll move him over. Now we got to get our harvested started. We don't want to create a wind row. So we are going to start a course play course here. Oh, it's not reading it. Might have to recalculate it here. There we go. One sh headland should be enough for three separate tools. Start at current position. And hopefully this doesn't take long to load. It's thinking. So I want you. Or there. Finding activated, and you're off. We'll have to go over here. Did not save that course, which I will have to do. Go through. There we 
go. Go and now we just have to start our last combine. There we are off. So these are new combines from JHG and Sid Modding, I believe. S700s. Mega bin topper on top. Not for sure what they call this. That's unique. I've never seen course play make that turn before. Made that pretty easy. Course play in its beta version is getting better all the time. Looks like our first combine means unloaded. We need to head over there. First we'll start our semis. So I created an unload course for all these. Pretty easy to get them created. Play would have a a convoy for these. Leave him not activated yet, just because I don't want him jamming in the rear of that truck. I don't want two combined courses. There we go. You do the same thing. Yep. There we go. Now we just have to jump into our grain cart. Chase down our combines. Got our 9RT. This is a, I believe it's a 9520RT. 520 horsepower. Curious what these combines hold. I can't. Don't know exact bushels, but 
Man, do they have big bin toppers on the top. I was hoping these bowed up because they have that center auger, so. But it appears like they don't, but still. Good looking rig here. unload this and then we have to obviously unload the second one right after this so this will end the let's play here we will continuously tape on you can see the rest of this in the time lapse version later so thanks for watching everyone and I will see you later.